Hey, what's going on everyone? Joshua here, and it is Shingles Day 11 update. Alright, went to the docks today, and uh, there are some interesting things going on. I can tell you that unfortunately my vision hasn't gotten better. Uh, there's still quite a bit of blurriness, and as a matter of fact, uh, beginning last evening into today, um, vision has actually deteriorated slightly uh, as compared to what it has been over the past week. And uh, so the doc has prescribed a medication that we're in hopes will begin to provide some relief for this. Um, but in the end, the doctor really has no idea as to what kind of duration I may be looking at and uh, dealing with this particular situation, but it has greatly impacted my left eye uh, to the point where if I close my right, I mean, it's just basically blurry. I, I, it's very difficult to make things out. Um, and of course, the right eye is just overcompensating a great deal. And uh, so it's, I think, stimulating a headache as well. Um, so yeah, I've been having headaches uh, for the past two days again. Um, nothing truly debilitating, but definitely chronic and annoying. The actual pain level in the eye is about a constant three to four. Again, it's not debilitating. It's just more annoying. It causes me to put pressure on my eye. Uh, and then I get these um, sharp stabbing pains, which have been the worst. Those get up to around like a, a seven and I mean, I just total blindness can't see. It's just very painful. So yeah, there are still some unique challenges I'm experiencing right now. And uh, for the foreseeable future, I'm just going to have to take it really easy. Uh, looks like uh, there's going to be some activity changes in my days. And uh, at this time, I've as well noticed some difficulties reading finer print items, um, labels on bottles, uh, reading books and stuff. Some of those smaller prints are definitely presenting challenges and adding pain. And if I attempt to read for too long, uh, vision just gets really, really bad right now. Uh, I'm having difficulty with edges of surfaces. Uh, they're not very pronounced uh they're not very defined so like the say edge of a roof line or edge of a table or something like that edges seem to have blurs around them so there's still a bit of uh visual impedance going on and we're just not entirely sure what is going to transpire from here the doc just said he hopes it covers and things get well with through the treatment of the medication but uh unfortunately in my particular case there's no real way to define how this is going to move forward he's just i could tell the doc was pretty much just inexperienced with my particular case with a case of my situation and yeah there were a couple spots found on the retina that uh, could have already been an underlying issue or this could be a development from the shingles the doctor there again just really wasn't sure so that's where i'm at i'm giving all praise and glory to yehosha uh he's seen me through it and no matter what i know his plan will prevail and that's all that matters because if he gives me a breath to praise his holy name, that's, that's all that matters to me is just praising him and thanking him for everything he provides. So, yep, a couple challenges coming up, but, you know, God is good, y'all. God is good. And no matter what, he's going to see me through. And my faith stays strong in Yosha. And I don't even care if I lose my sight, peeps, because... Quite frankly, there's a lot of stuff in this world I don't really care to see anymore. So if the Lord God calls, call, comes a call on my eyesight, let it be his will done, not mine. But that's my update for the day.
I do hope everyone's doing well out there. And uh, as always, I greatly appreciate y'all's support and prayers. Always means, always means the most, y'all. So thank y'all again for everything. And, uh, you know, I'm praying for y'all as well. And I pray greatly above all. Y'all find your walk with Yehosha. You never know what's coming upon your days, peeps. Don't. If you don't have hope, true hope, if you don't have the true Ahava of the one that created you, you'll never find the courage to get through it. And if you do, it'll be so superficial that the next hardship that comes around, you won't have the same courage. It's only by the power of the rock, Hako Dush, peeps. Only by the power of the rock, Hako Dush. Yeah, I am kind of concerned right now. Um, from what I've noticed in the past two days, uh, some changes. Yeah, I'm definitely have a little bit of concern. So, but anyway, there again, just give it all, all to Yehosha. It's in his hands. Let his will be done, not mine. I'm out of here, y'all. Go love thy neighbors.